In this video, we'll look at window functions. So what window functions help us do is, let's say we have this table, which has the column category. And in this particular category column, if we need to perform some uh, analytics, let's say we want to get the maximum value for Q1 by the category, then we can use a window over the category function that can then create these groups for vegetables and then we can get the max value for q1 for vegetables and similarly we could get a max value for q1 uh, for the category fruit let's see how uh, that would work here in the query here is the query uh, that creates the table produce uh, which is which is all these lines that we have Let's uh, print the table and see what it looks like. So I have this select star from produce. So here we should be able to see the table down below. And here it is. So we have the table with columns item Q1 through Q4 columns with numeric data. And then we have the category column right at the uh, end of this table. Now what we can do is we can perform window function so what window is is we are creating uh, windows as in we are creating uh, we are creating partitions within the table to perform some sort of uh, aggregation or some sort of uh, analytics so here we have this first select clause which has the columns q1 item purchases so let's see why the purchases is not showing in here uh, let's roll back up and look at purchases so there is purchase okay so it's right i was wondering where it went so we have the purchase column uh, which is the last column and what we intend to do here is we want to get the last value over the over a window and I put that item that we find as a last value in the new column called most popular and the way we define the window here is we say over item window and we define the window down here after the from statement where we say item window as and here we say partition by category which is the category column which has the vegetable and fruit in it and then we order the window that we have party we have created by the partition we are ordering it by the values that are in the column purchases and we are ordering it in a descending order so that the larger values appear first and then the smaller values appears uh, last and the values that are, we are when we look at the last value in the uh, item what we are going to look at is the last value after this order is performed on the purchases and we are going to look at rows between one preceding and one following what it means is that let's say in this particular case once these are ordered we'll be able to see it more clearly uh, if this is the row if this is one row that we are looking at then one preceding would be one row earlier in that window and one row after in that window and in that when this is arranged in a descending order what we are doing is we are picking the last value among those three values that we have okay. so let's run this query and look at the output to see how this works we run this query and now what we have is we we can right away see that we have a new column called most popular and then we have the q1 column which we have uh, which is the first column then we have the item we also have the purchases and in purchases we can see that it is uh, arranged in a descending order larger values appear first smaller appear smaller values appears later and the category is fruit uh, so this particular category column was uh, used as a partition now when we look at the very first row first row 
what uh, the way this last value was picked is as below uh, as as i'm explaining now this is the row which has 88 value preceding there is no value so that part is ignored then in the row after this one so where we say uh let's let's move this little up so when we say following what we are saying is that one one row after this one so here what we have is 37 and so the uh, the fruits that we have arranged in here is banana and orange and we are supposed to pick the last value and so the last value in this case is orange and therefore we get the orange that is listed here likewise when we move on to the next row which is this row now in this row the preceding value is 88 then we have 37 and the last value is 12 right three values and so when we look at the item column it is arranged as below we have orange apple and apple so when we perform when we get the last value from these three what we have is an apple and so in this particular most popular column we get an apple likewise we we can keep going in this and let's pick another this particular row this record now in this case the preceding row in this is a fruit but fruit is not in the same window as vegetable fruit is a window by itself and vegetable is window by itself so we cannot use that preceding row now let's look at the following row following row is a vegetable and so when we look at the values in item column we cannot use this particular value because it belongs to the category fruit we instead just use these two values uh, the row existing row and the following row and now when we look at the last value in here we have the value that is spinach and therefore we assign the value spinach here in the most popular column similarly if we go back up uh, one cell uh, so one row if we look at this column which is the uh, if you look at this column now in this column the preceding row is a fruit which is 10 so that is good however the following row in this particular case is a vegetable so we cannot use this particular row and so when we look at the item column from which we need to pick the last value what we are going to do is look at only these two rows where we have the values apple and apple and the last value that we have in this case is this apple and so uh, the value that we put here is that apple and the way we can know that this is this apple if we simply replace the item by q1 we should see a 97 here where the fruit is 2 so let's try and see if we get that value so if i change this to q1 now if we run this we should get the similar output where as we talked about earlier the value for this particular fruit as we see one preceding is this one following is this but we cannot use this and so when we look at the q1 column now we just have these two columns these two values and the last value in this particular set of two values is 97 and therefore we assign we have the value of 97 here in the most popular column that's how the window functions work now there are a couple of ways we can change the way we can write the syntax for this and i will look at those now so here we specified this column here we defined the window functions as a separate uh, clause after the from statement now here let's comment this out and so that we can run the query below this one here what we have is again the select clause and within this then we have the item item column let's add the q1 column because we have it up above as well we have the q1 item purchases category and then we have the last last value 
So last value is again here as we had before last value item over D. Now instead of writing the uh, item window here which was defined uh, below what we are saying here is we are not assigning any name to the window we are simply saying d which is uh, which is the last abbreviation here so we are saying partition by as a then order by a order by b as b and then b rows between two uh, let's put one preceding and one following because that's what we have been using and this is c and then d as uh, this and so this is the last abbreviation and so that's what we are passing here inside of the over and when we run this the output would be similar to same as what we had earlier where we had the most popular column and everything arranged here uh, now there is one change though here what we have is the order is in ascending order we can change that we can say desc and what that would do is we'll get the values ascending in a descending order uh, so likewise we have these in descending order and uh, here we had descending so that that's that should now give us the same result in addition to this what we can also do is let's look at this particular query we can put the part of the window clause so we have this window partition by category b as a order by purchases c as b and we can use this c right here and then we can also you uh, put the last part uh, for the window clause inside of this over right here so that also works as works the same and here we can again put this uh, descending and when we run this query we should get the same output as we did before and we do now apart from these abbreviated uh, abbreviation of the parts of the window clause there is another way we can write this particular statement is this way we can let's say we need we were interested in finding the max value in q1 uh, when we partition by category Okay, so we are not using, we are not going to look at uh, rows preceding or following. We are simply going to look at the partition, just the category by itself. And as we would expect in the case of Q1, what we have for fruit is the max value is 97. And so in the most popular column, we should get a value of 97 for all the records that are there uh, all the records so that's what we have and in case of the uh, second category vegetables we have 88 is the maximum value and that's the value we get right here so that's how the partition and window clause work uh, i hope you got some intuition as to how this works uh, how how to partition the data and perform some uh, analytics on that if you have any questions comments please do let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video until then please like share and subscribe thank you